everyone. I'm State Representative Leslie Herod. Uh, I represent House District 8 right here in Denver, Colorado. I'm proud to be the first African-American LGBTQ person to hold elected office in Colorado. And it's an honor to be able to represent such a diverse community. As the first African-American LGBTQ person to hold office in Colorado, it can feel very alone. Um, you don't necessarily have the same supports uh, that other members in your family have. Um, and so as a first generation student and two first generation students, I should say, um, I applaud you for your tenacity and your, and your drive to do better. Um, one thing that I learned uh, in the role that I am, and I know you guys feel it too, especially as first generation students of color, I'm gonna give you a piece of advice. My mentor, um, Regis Groff, who has since passed away, has always told me that in the building, in the Capitol building, you'll always be too black, but in the community, you'll never be black enough. And as an elected official, um, that is a struggle that we uh, face every single day. First generation students of color feel that too. Um, feel the, 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 the pull between the community, right? And then representing the community in your educational setting. Um, and having to be all things to all people and never quite feeling like enough. I want you all to know that you're not alone in that struggle, um, but that feeling is felt by a lot of us who are uh, forging new paths forward, and we need you to stay. We need you to be engaged. We need you to um, be resilient um, and to take care of yourselves and each other because it's just so important that we're in these spaces, even if you've never been there before or no one like us has ever been in those rooms. For me, uh, I did have to move around a lot. Being a military brat, uh, my mom was a single mom in the army. Uh, I was born in Germany. I lived in Korea, I lived throughout the country, and so I had to move around a lot, which for me made me um, want to make quick friends um, and really try to jump in and get involved right away. For me, that was cheerleading. I was a cheerleader um, and student government. And so I did all of the activities. I was over-involved. As soon as we got somewhere in the summertime, I would figure out what school I was going to and how I could be involved even in summer activities. Because it was important. It provided a sense of community for me. But to be honest, it also provided a sense of protection. Because as a new student, sometimes you get picked on a lot. I definitely felt that. And you kind of need someone to show you the ropes. So I always made sure to find new friends, new groups to kind of insert myself into um, to be able to transition into the community, I think a little bit smoother and better. It's so important to have first generation students of color connecting and supporting each other. When I was in college, uh, we built a similar organization um, where we as uh, students of color first generation students, LGBTQ students, feminists came together and said, how can we support each other in the movement? We created an organization called Source, the Student Outreach and Retention Center for Equity, um, and really fought in the movement together. A lot of those people are my friends today. Uh, and so the connections you are building right now and the struggles you're going through together right now are, are leading to lifelong friendships, but more importantly, lifelong support networks, because I still lean on my friends every single day, because we're new to this. Like, I, my parents were elected officials, you know what I mean? Um, and uh, we kind of just keep stepping into things and figuring it out uh, along the way. That's what we have to do, um, but it's a lot easier to get over those hurdles or puddles um, if you have a friend who is jumping over them with you. Well, when I first got to campus at CU Boulder, um, I went to my first class, auditorium style classroom. I was the only black female in that class. Um, I didn't know that that was gonna be the case. I had no idea that the University of Colorado at Boulder was the least diverse public institution behind Brigham Young. Brigham Young is in Utah, you know, Mormon institution. Um, so I was shocked because they don't put that in the flyer. I gotta tell you, in every brochure I saw for CU, there were black people. Didn't see folks on campus when I got to class. Um, and so, uh, so it was really important for me to find community. I actually ended up going and uh, finding folks in the Black Student Alliance, in Wasi Mecha, uh, the Muslim Student Association, and we kind of came together and said that we needed to create our own community. Uh, we ended up running for office together, took over student government, um, and used that to really ensure that our students, our student groups, and our student voices were heard throughout the administration and throughout the university.
Uh, so the one thing I'm so proud of is the bill that I worked on most recently, um, which is the Law Enforcement Accountability and Integrity Act. Um, it is the first bill to pass in the country responding directly to the protests and the, and the calls of the people for change. Um, we have uh, created sweeping reform here in Colorado um, to hold law enforcement accountable both criminally and civilly money um, when they abuse people in our communities, act violently, and even murder people. I'm sick of seeing people who look just like us killed on the street by law enforcement. No, I don't believe that all law enforcement is bad, but I do believe that we are over-policing our communities, we're over-incarcerating in our communities, and we're targeting people for doing everyday things like walking down the street, and that should never be a death sentence. But unfortunately, it can be, especially for um, people of color. But most importantly, I'm just really proud to be able to respond to the needs of the community and to be able to represent in a really bold way as myself, as a queer, proud Black woman, um, and I'll keep doing it.